Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Countdown video. The image I'm about to show you guys is pretty old, but it's definitely worth discussing. So this image surfaced I think this past weekend, and I don't usually record on the weekend, so I wasn't able to make a video on it right away, but I still want to talk to you guys about it. The image is of a bird on a, what looks like a Koro Koro scan, but obviously it's not a Koro Koro scan. This leak, I'm about to tell you guys right now, before anything, this leak, it has to be fake. Because Koro Koro does not leak until around the 12th. You know, sometimes it leaks on the 11th, if you're lucky. I don't ever think it's leaked on the 10th, but there might have been a, you know, one rare event where it leaked on the 10th. But we're talking about this past weekend. I think it was like the 5th or the 6th. I don't know. It's way too early for Koro Koro to leak. Not to mention that this, this just looks really badly done. You know what I mean? Just the logos on the top, you can tell, like, it's... It's over like, what is that? The logos are over like a black background. They're not gonna do that, man. It just looks so, it doesn't look well made. It looks like the guy got lazy. I think it was also done by the same guy who makes fake scans. There's some guy out there who makes fake scans, but he doesn't do it to trick people, I don't think. I think he just does it for fun, cause you know, artists, they, they like to express themselves in many different ways. You know what I mean? So I can't really blame the guy for, you know, wanting to make these things. Plus they're really entertaining when they pop up. They pique my interest, so, I mean, I don't know, I don't blame the guy or anything. But, um, just from looking at it, you can just see it has very simple lines, it's very... It's not very Koro Koro like Koro Koro has, like, the text, you know, sometimes diagonally, not, like, straight down. That's not a really good observation, but, like, it just looks weird. And look at the Nintendo 3DS logo under it. Like, that Nintendo 3DS logo is huge. It stretches even more than the Sun and Moon logos. Like, can you guys see Sun and Moon? Like, okay. Think about this page in general, like this is just a little piece of the page, right? So think about this covering up a whole page and how weird it would look, alright? And you know, how come we got only a little section of the page? If this was real, we would have gotten the entire page. When things leak, they're not just like, oh yeah, hold on, let me just scan the whole page and open up Photoshop, let me crop out a little piece of it and let me just post it online. No! If you're gonna scan a page and leak it, you want to scan the whole page, because chances are, they're going to have gameplay pictures on that page, and if you're going to leak a page, you might as well leak the other page, and the other page, and the other page. You guys get what I'm trying to say, right? Now, this fan-made Pokemon is really cool. You guys don't understand how much I would like it to be real, just because it looks like a really nice water-type starter. It looks really nice, but it was made based off of the observations that people have made about this being in Hawaii, Pokemon Sun and Moon, you know? like. With all the theories and stuff going on about Hawaii, like you can even tell because of the little flower that they put there. They were trying to go and, I guess, try to link this to the Hawaii rumors and try to just write off of that. But, um, it's not working for me. I don't get the Hawaii feeling. Just because you put a little flower at the bottom right, it doesn't really give me a Hawaii feeling, you know what I mean? It's like if you showed a picture of an average man and you just put a little flower on the right, like, that's not gonna make me feel like this is Hawaii. It's not gonna make me feel like this belongs in Hawaii. Yes, it is a bird, and it does look like maybe, just maybe, it could be in Hawaii, but um, just overall, it just, I don't know. You guys probably don't understand where I'm going with this, but for me, it just doesn't do it for me. And the fact that it's riding off of the Hawaii train, it kind of like makes this even less believable, because that's not even proved yet. It's like the artist was just trying to make this more believable by making it link to Hawaii, but instead, he did the complete opposite. It could just be me, but I think that the artist could have chosen a better color scheme for this Pokemon. I don't know, make it look a little more tropical. I know this is supposed to be like a water starter leak. I think that's what he was going for, but it would have just looked, you know, it would have looked better to me. And if he was trying to make this seem like it was the bird shown in the trailer, then in that case, he completely failed. I don't know what he was going for because I don't think he's spoken directly about this, but it's, it's definitely not real. Aside from all of this, we also got some official artwork, I guess you could say, like, something that looks like official artwork, something that looks like, um, I guess something that Ken Sugimori would draw, you know what I mean? Of the, um, and this is of the leak that we just saw, and there are some inconsistencies between this and the bird in the picture, not, you know, not many, but there are some inconsistencies, and that's not the problem here, the problem is that we have this art in the first place, you know what I mean? Like. Sure, we might get some official artwork, you know, when Koro Koro leaks, and usually they do update the website with official artwork and stuff, but that happens between the leak 
and the official release of Koro Koro, and then the Pokemon website's update. The fact that we have official artwork, so to speak, about this fake leak just makes this even more fake. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this more natural countdown. I didn't want to script it too much. I wanted to, you know, just talk to you guys. And um, I feel like that's nicer sometimes. It might not be as informative, maybe. Like, it might not. I might not get the point across as quickly to you guys. But then again, I'm also not reading off a script, you know what I mean? So I feel like I can come off more naturally to you guys and speak to you guys um, directly, you know? And I hope it wasn't boring or anything because... When I'm doing like a really fast countdown, I, I tend to talk a little bit louder and it's a little bit faster. But with this, you know, things are a little bit slower, calmer, get to talk to you guys a little bit more. So it all works out in the end. And I also wanted to thank you guys for, I think, 327,000 subscribers right now. I think that's where we're sitting right now. Um, my goal before the end of the year right now, like my realistic goal is 400,000, but my like, I guess aiming to the skies goal is 500,000 if that makes any sense. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do if I reach any of those goals but I'm really grateful that you guys have chosen to subscribe to this channel. I always say it at the end but I never really talk to you guys about it you know during the video itself but it's really important that you guys subscribe just so that you don't miss anything and that you support this channel by clicking like and all that stuff. That's why I always say it at the end of the videos but I wanted to let, you know just let you guys know I guess uh, not really face to face, but I just wanted to communicate it with you guys because I say it at the end of all my videos, so it might just seem like that's my outro, but I'm actually telling you guys like it's really important that you guys show your support that way, you know, share, like the video, have your YouTube connected to Twitter. I mean, you don't have to do all that, but subscribing and liking are really important. Thank you guys. If you guys would like a chance to be featured in one of these countdown videos, my Twitter DMs are open for theories, speculation, fan-made artwork, and fan-made music, and I'll definitely make sure to credit you if I choose to use any of them in a countdown. I also have a Patreon page in case any of you guys want to go the extra mile and support me even further. There are perks to becoming a patron, such as appearing in a countdown, playing online games with me, a follow on Twitter, but for more details, it's better to check out the actual page. I'll have a link to it in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.